Hello everyone, Roisin Mina here, writer, reader and teller of stories to small children whenever I get a chance. Um, I'm delighted to be contributing to the Ireland Reads initiative. Uh, I suppose it's serving as a reminder to us how valuable reading is at the best of times and now in these scared, scary and kind of weird and anxious times we find ourselves in, I think books more than ever are needed and wanted and act as a comfort to us. Um, when you open a good book it's like meeting new friends and just uh, losing yourself and forgetting maybe for a while about the, the cares and the worries that we all have now. I'd like to recommend two books in particular to you that I, one of which I have just finished and the other of which I'm just about to start. Um, Rachel Joyce has been one of my favourite authors since I read um, The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry a few years ago and I absolutely loved it. And then I followed that with um, the companion piece that, she, that Rachel Joyce wrote about um, the love song called The Love Song of Queenie Hennessy and another gorgeous read. So I, I can't recommend those two highly enough. This is her latest offering. Miss Benson's Beetle is quirky, it's warm, it's beautifully charactered. Uh, you will love them, you will root for them. Um, and it's it's got its heartbreaking moments in it too but it's overall a gorgeous read, so I highly recommend that one to you. Um, I'd also recommend this one, even though I've only just begun it, so I suppose I can't really speak for it, but Elizabeth Strout, in my book, can do no wrong. She's the author of the absolutely wonderful Olive Kitteridge, which I think ranks in one of my top three reads of all time, and that's saying something because I have read a lot of books. This one is not a new book, it's um, it's out a few years, but I came across it lately. I think I must have missed it first time round, which is unusual for me. Now, I don't think I've read it, but I'm getting to the age now where sometimes uh, the memory isn't that reliable. But I, I've just started it and I love it so far. It's very promising. Um, yeah, Elizabeth Strout, and I just want to show you as well my bookmark, which I got from um, a, a class of junior infants. They were doing a project on kindness, and I love it too. Um, and if I could be so bold as to just show you my latest paperback offering, The Restaurant, it's a standalone book. It's um, kind of a warm read and I think it's quite good. <laughs> so you might like to try it too. It's just come out in paperback um, and it should be available wherever you can manage to get your books these days. Of course, the, the library has the wonderful BorrowBox app where you can get um, audio and ebooks to borrow. Um, so that's well worth checking out if you haven't already done it. Um, so I hope everyone is okay and I hope you're all getting through this. Um, I find books a great help and um, yeah, I, I, I hope that you will too if you don't already. Thanks. <laughs>